Now, a test run coal shipment from Russia arrived in South Korea via North Korea over the weekend, and this marks a significant breakthrough after years of limited economic exchanges between the two Koreas. And it's hoped this rare movement of trade could help be the initial step towards improved economic relations and all round friendlier ties. Now, Son Jung in reports. Some 40,000 tons of coal extracted in Siberia arrived in the country last weekend through a North Korean port. The first ever shipment is part of a trilateral project undertaken by South Korea, North Korea, and Russia to transport raw materials via the Trans Siberian Railway from Russia's Hazan to North Korea's Najin port and then to the South Korean port of Pohang. Both Pyongyang and Moscow are known to have been highly cooperative throughout the entire procedure. The South Korean delegation team, who visited Najin to inspect facilities and do some last-minute checkups, say they were well received by North Korean officials. Experts say an official deal on transporting coal regularly through the route could spark a revival of other collaborative plans between the two Koreas. The shipment is considered all the more significant as the South cut all commercial links with the North after the sinking of a South Korean warship in 2010, leaving the inter-Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex as the only economic connection. However, due to the unstable political situation on the peninsula, there are concerns the project could run into some unexpected problems down the road. The South Korean government and the consortium members Corail, POSCO and Hyundai Merchant Marine are holding further consultations with Russia in a bid to lessen the possible risks. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.